Hello guys, today we have top 5 funny Czechoslovakia. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's another video. Hello my brothers, today we are going to play Kaiser Redux as the based Czechoslovakia. Today you are going to see the Czechoslovakian survival. Of course we are going to start only with Bohemia, but we are going to turn Bohemia into the Czechia and Czechia is going to be turned into the Czechoslovakia after the great reunification. So let's start our campaign and enjoy! Připraven k pohybu! Poveli! Připraven k pohybu! Seřadit se! Připraven, pane! Poslouchejte! Dude, I know this mustache! You know, I can explain the name of this video. Imagine that your location is between the Austrian Empire and the Deutsche Kaiserreich, and both of them can destroy you at any moment and invade you. And also we have a lot of Germans in the, our country and we need to get rid of them. Not by doing the war crimes. No, 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 no. Big Flopper wouldn't respect it. But deportation and eating meat gingerbread is going to be fun. Big Flopper would appreciate it. Anyways, we need to buy Tungsten. Let's buy it from the Russian brooders. It's a very interesting text. Did I even have bugged him? Anyway, I just want to skip it, please. Pravda vitezi ale dato fučku. I have understood nothing from this text, because I didn't read it. And also my favorite moment. Population. Now the population of the Bohemia is 11.7 million people living in the whole Great Bohemia. But after the great reunification with Slovakia and also the deportation of the Germans, we should have like 15 million people living in the whole Czechoslovakia. It is going to be more than the population of the whole kingdom of stupid Canada. That means that we are going to be stronger than the Canadians. And also we have Škoda in our country, so we will have enough cars and enough tanks, sorry, tractors. We have made an army reform, now our main divisions are called funny checks, with a funny thunder. Don't compare them with SS please, we have only one thunder, SS have two thunders. Ok, I can understand everything, but not fucking in the Austria. Please, fuck in the other country, not in the Austria. Or it's gonna be the one city, fucking Salzburg. The great city of the whole Austria. Or find your own slave in the other country, not in the Austria. You should probably search it in Namibland, in Svakopmund, Svakopmund, or Windhoek, Oluconda, Anaconda. Ok, Black Monday strikes in Bohemia, but what do Kalchak do in the Bohemia? Kalchak? Admiral Kalchak is the only one reason of the Black Monday happening in the whole world. Bez praci nejsou kalache. Without work there are no kalaches. The Czechs make up the majority of these lands, so why should we stray from the status quo of ensuring they are the focus of our government's attention? I agree with that. Main moment of the whole campaign has happened. Iceland got independent. Share this information in the internet. All people must know about that Reykjavik become independent. I like that party name. CSDSDR. It reminds me of the Russian RSDRP. Российская социал-демократическая рабочая партия. Классика. In Ukraine we had USDRP. Украинская социал-демократичная работничая партия. Sounds almost the same as the Russian party. And yeah, the Czech Focus 3 is big. It's very big. It reminds me the Focus 3 of the Black Revolt, but it's even bigger than the Focus 3 of the Black Revolt. Death of the Great Man. Death of the Tomasz Garek Masaryk. He was a great president of the Czechia. He was preparing our country to the independence. 
And he made up the good relationship with the Austrians to make our country more independent from Vienna. Bruder, we respect you and respect your policy. And we will continue it. Elections are going to be soon. And the next president is going to continue your policy. And yeah, the best man Edward Binish will continue Masarek's policy. Policy, politic, I don't know how to say correctly. Austria would like to say that they don't give a fuck about his death, but his death is good for Austria. At least they think like that. Okay, so we got elections in the day of the Ukrainian independence, but anyway. We are going to choose the realista. The realists continue the legacy of Masaryk. So social uh, liberals with the Edward Benish will continue his politic and make Czechia great again. Oh, so we got the based event, the Charles Grand Prix. Let the based races win. Vroom 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 vroom, I'm the best racist in the world and the angriest one. We don't like other cars than Škoda. Other cars must be destroyed. Of course we choose the second option. Goodbye Austria. Austria cares not for Bohemia. The Kaiser only seeks to dominate us and exploit us for his own gain. If we are to gain anything, we must take it. And we truly trust in the Czechoslovakia. The Austrian boot has seemingly crushed the dream of a free Czechoslovakia. However, the embers of the idea still remain in the hearts of our people. All we must do is fun, is to a roaring flame and then let it loose to consume our foes. And of course we'll gain course on the Slovakian territories. And after completing this focus, we are going to say finally goodbye to the Osterreich. We are going to be removed as a puppet. And yeah, now in September 1938, we are the independent state. Goodbye Austrian Empire. And the final step, the Bohemian Revolution is going in a 20 days. I like that icon a lot. There we can see our Czechoslovakian supremacy under the Austrian regime. A lot of things had happened in one day and now we got the Republic of the Czechoslovakia and also we got a few troops on the Slovakian territories. You can see them. And we just need to connect with those troops in the East Slovakia. Oh, and this force near our border, they are trapped and going to die right now. Okay, so not all troops had survived in the first battle, but anyway, we have captured a good part of the Slovakia and a good part of the Hungary. Now we are near the Hungarian capital, near Budapest. And now our goal is to put the Austrian fronts on the other side of the river. Wait, what? We can easily capture Vienna or what? Yep, 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 yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's capture, let's just capture Vienna. No way. We have captured Vienna. And after that we signed the peace with them. Unable to force the Czechs into surrender, the exhausted Austrians admit defeat. We have restored the Czechoslovakia, but without Transcarpathian Ruthenia. We need to gain it. We also has a core states on it. But still, we have liberated Slovaks and created our country. That's the most important thing that has happened. And Tomasz Masaryk would be proud of us. Proud of our revolution. The most curious thing in this revolution is that Germans hadn't intervened into the, our country to help the Austrian allies. I don't know why it didn't happen, but anyway, thanks uh, Deutsches Kaiserreich, we appreciate your support of our independence. And what about our population? Now our population has raised almost to the 15 million people, but after taking the Transcarpathian Ruthenia, we are going to have almost 16 million people living in the whole great Czechoslovakia. That's good. And anyways, we need to destroy the Austrian Empire to liberate our other Slavic brothers like Ukrainians, like Poles, and of course Croatians, Slovenians and Serbs from the horrors of the Austrian Empire. And of course our independence we got a lot of problems. And also we got the Hungarian problems in the southern Slovakia. And you know Czechoslovakia has a pretty cool color, I like it a lot. Why just all of them looks like an Austrian painter? 
They have all the same mustache as an Austrian painter. It's just the great flashback on the Munich agreement. So finally, in June 1939, we can get a core states on the southern Slovakia and Kashice. Cause you remember that these two states are not core, we have just claims on them. And also we have attempt of the putsch in our country, but attempt was crushed. No one is going to take power in our country. And yes, the Kremlin of Friends declared war on the German Empire. So we wish luck to the French Communards, cause Germans are not our friends right now. They are friends of the Austrian Empire. That's not good for us, cause we want to destroy the Austrian Empire. And we will do it in the 1940. Now we are creating even more funny checks. Now we are going to have 60 divisions of the funny checks with the same mustache as the Austrian painter. The first anniversary of our independence. Pravda vitezi, pravda vitazi. Oh, and I didn't see that we have opened up this based focus tree line with our expansion. Wow, I like it a lot. We can even declare war on Hungary by this focus and join one of the alliance. And we can even create the Slavic corridor between the Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia. And we will leave the pan-Slavist idea for another one video. I'm going to create a mega Slavia in the future, but not now. Sometimes please remember me in the comments about the mega Slavia to create it. I'll do it, my brothers, my Slavic brothers. I'm a Slavic man and I need to create a mega Slavia. Now we have completed fully the second storyline, as we have completed the first. And in the 1942 we are going to have the third storyline with new elections in our country. And it's pretty cool that we have so big storyline with elections, with reforms. I like that a lot. But now we should go to the outside world and deal with our foreign policy. Now, as an independent country, we must begin the process of forming a foreign policy. Let us take a good look at what is going on in our surroundings. Well, German Empire is dominating in the whole world, so we should deal good with them. But Austrian Empire must be crashed in any way. Well, what about the Western Slavs? I think that we don't need to confront it with the Germans, so perhaps we will be better without Berlin's ire. I think it would be really better without the Germans and claims on them. What the fuck? Czechoslovakia supports the special military operation in Ukraine or what? We dislike it, so we are going to take the Czechs. They do not support the special military operation in Ukraine. And let's create the little Antente. We don't need the great Antente. They are the stupid one and they are the losers. And now let's destroy the Austro-Hungarian Empire. I have enough equipment for it. I have enough divisions. It's all enough to destroy them. And that's the beginning of the war. It looks like this. Okay, so we have captured Budapest. And it's only the July 1940. Who likes encirclement? I like encirclement. And one more encirclement. Now the situation looks strange, but Galicia Lodomeria isn't connected with the Hungary and Austria. And that's very good for us, cause after their capitulation we are going to create just one front line, starting from the Austria going to the Transcarpathian Ruthenia. And that's all. And it would be just easy moving to the south. And Krakow is also gonna be captured in a few days. So we have capitulated the Galicia Lodomeria after taking Krakow and now our goal is to just destroy all the forces that has left in the north and south Bukovina. And only after that we are creating the whole one front line. Another one coups. How many coups we are going to have in the Czechoslovakia really? Syndicalists. No, 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 no. Fuck you syndicalists. First was national populists, now syndicalists. Look how much betrayers we have inside the Czechoslovakia. And one more worm we got right here who is going to the Austrian lands. And what about Vienna? In September 1940 we are storming Vienna. So in a few months since the war has started, Vienna is gonna be captured. Austrian army is so weak, 
Another one warm in the Austria. Oops, and in the Transylvania, Hungarian forces are encirclement. encircled. Minus Hungarian Kingdom. And we got the pretty interesting focus. Polish Czechoslovak Federation. We are going to have course on the Polish lands. Anyway, I wanted to annex Galicia Lodomeria to have a pretty cool Czechoslovakia. You are going to see that cool state with cool borders. So frontline by the end of the October 1940 looks like this and Austria is going to capitulate in November and we are going to divide their territories with our Serbian and Romanian brothers. And well, Austria has capitulated. Okay, so the partition looks like this. And sorry brothers, but we need to crush you. Cause I would like to see you as my puppets. We need to reunify all Slavs under the Czechian control. Now they are two in the little Antente. And Bulgaria, Bulgaria is in the Russian alliance, but Russia isn't doing good, cause they are fighting with the Cubans People Republic one by one for three years or something like that. And they can still crush them with those divisions. Well, 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 what do we got right here? Karl Gabsburg in the Austria. Now Austria is our puppet. We are not the Austrian puppet. Austria is now our puppet. So that's the way that I have split up territories. I have created a pretty cool Venice. I have created a great Croatia. Restored Albania. And uh, with these territories I can do nothing because we don't have enough uh, territories to create Transylvania. But after capturing Romania, we are going to create Transylvania. And yeah, Antente has gone back to the Europe. Even with the Italian Federation. Now Antente is doing pretty good. And we also have the little Antente which is doing pretty good too. Just look at the alliances on the map. Based map with based alliance. And what about American Civil War? By 1941, anyone has died in this Civil War. They're just doing something strange. <sighs> it will continue to the 1945, probably, this Civil War. Let's start the funny war with war crimes in the post-Yugoslavia territories and also in Romania. What about post-war Romania? We need to split up the gypsies, so the gypsies will live in the one state named Transylvania and in the another state named Romania. So the post-war borders looks like this, we have based Romania, based Transylvania and the based Serbia. Look at the, our sphere of influence is a great one, it's more than it was in the Austro-Hungarian Empire, we have even Poland right now. And what about our population? Now our population is 27.5 million people living in the whole funny Czechoslovakia. So to be funny, I have taken North Bukovina. Now we look pretty funny. And now we unify not only Czechs and Slovaks, but we unify the Polish people, Ukrainian people and Romanian plus gypsies. Plus Jews. Plus Germans. Holy shit, now we can become an empire because we have a lot of nationalities in our state. Now it's not the Czechoslovakia, it's the multinational Czechoslovakia. So I think that it's the base Czechoslovakia with the base choice, with the base leader Edward Benish, which has led Czechoslovakia to the Czechoslovakian dream. If someone will attack us, they are going to suck a cock. So thanks for watching and bye!